spend money on two days. There's always gonna be something cute. There's always going to be something on sale. Hi guys, I'm Aria. Welcome to my channel. Today we're gonna be wrapping up and sharing what I spent this week and also what I learned over this month long no spend challenge that I've been on. I'll have links to the first three videos in this series in the description if you want to learn more about how the previous three weeks went and more detail about all of my rules and exceptions that I set up for this challenge. As a quick review, I started this challenge to eliminate spending in the following areas. Clothing, makeup and skincare, home decor, basically anything non-essential that doesn't fall into the bills and necessary spending categories. I did allow myself a couple of non-essential spendings for the month and that was to get my hair done twice and get my nails done twice, which actually I only got my nails done once but I could have done it twice in theory, uh, but that was just sort of a maintenance thing for me personally and I didn't want to cut those things out, but I did want to cut out the other extraneous spending that I had been doing previously. Okay, yeah, extraneous. Throughout the challenge, I used this super cute calendar that I designed myself, and as you can see, I fills it out with all of the spending that I did for the month. Really liked being able to have this calendar written out in person versus just going to like my online banking and looking at what I spent or things like that. Something about having it in person and having to write it down every day, I don't know, it, it just helped keep me accountable. I'm not even sure I can explain the science behind why I feel that way. I just felt that way. And I felt that way about other things too, like eating, you know, keeping a food diary and things like that. I feel like writing it down for some reason just, it, maybe that's just how my brain works, but physically writing it down is always better than typing it into something. So going into the final week, I really wanted to focus on a couple of things. One, I wanted to stay strong and finish out the challenge without breaking at all. I also really wanted to lower my grocery bill. That wasn't necessarily part of the challenge when I started, but once I started writing down and seeing what I was spending on food and groceries every single week, it seemed a little high and it was definitely outside of the budget that I had previously set for groceries for the family. So that was something I like added on as I went along the challenge and I wanted to challenge myself to be more intentional about even that necessary spending and lowering that as I could. I also really wanted to stretch and challenge myself to have at least four no spend days completely no spend not even essential spending and let me show you guys as you can see on the calendar I actually had five no spend days this week which is like what five no spend that means I only spent money on two days this week which is crazy but very exciting so in total I spent $155.35 over these two days that's $324 less than what I spent on the third week I definitely think there's a couple of factors that go into that I didn't get my hair done like I did last week so that's like at least $100 less I also spent less on groceries I, last week I went grocery shopping twice this week I only went once I also did a lot more eating out last week and I also did a couple of videos where I had to buy things for those videos which was also a allowed within the challenge, um, but I didn't do any of that this week. So those factored into it. So I spent $105.44 on groceries. I definitely think part of that is due to the strategy that I came up with last week where I wanted to spend a lot more time and energy doing like one big grocery shopping trip over the weekend and then cutting back on any smaller trips I have to do during the week. So as you can see on the calendar, last Sunday I spent $170 on groceries and I bought enough to last us until around here where I had to do another grocery shopping trip and the other day that I spent money this week was buying a birthday present and cards for my mom her birthday was on the on the 6th actually but we went out to dinner and stuff on the 5th so that's when I bought the stuff to give to her and so I spent what did I spend $49.91 on birthday gift and cards for mom that was something that I built into the challenge early on because I knew my mom's birthday was gonna fall within the challenge and I'm not gonna stiff my mom on a birthday gift because I'm trying to save my personal money like that shopping for my mom doesn't count as frivolous shopping because it's not frivolous it's for my mom <laughs> and she gave me life so you know like she deserves a nice birthday gift and as was the point of the challenge I spent zero dollars on clothes makeup skincare home decor all of that side stuff that I didn't really need this week at all <laughs> so what did I learn this month so I think the number one thing that I learned that I would pass on to you guys is so what did I learn this month I would say the number one thing that I learned is that I am more accountable to my choices when I have to write them down and look at them in black and white so I would highly recommend trying that out so I would say just in general that accountability piece is so important I think for you if writing things down doesn't work for you like it does for me find another way to stay accountable like make videos talking about your no spend challenge or low spend challenge tell your friends tell your family etc not necessarily in a way to have them have to keep you accountable specifically but just saying it out loud and repeating it just for yourself is a good way to hold yourself accountable and remind yourself of what you're doing and why you're doing it i also highly recommend doing what i did the very first week of the challenge and even before that i started doing this 
in, and that's the shopping emails that you get either unsubscribe from them which I couldn't do but if you're stronger than me just unsubscribe completely what I did was I took all of my sales emails that I got and I had them all filter into a separate folder that I think I call sales emails <laughs> and I would basically just ignore them and like once a week I'd go in and just delete 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 don't even open them and I found for me that helped a lot it removed the temptation to just look and see what's on sale oh here's an email 20% off 30% off whatever it is and just look and see what there is because you know what I, I found out looking at a sales email just to see what's on sale is the same as going into Target just to see what's cute because here's the thing there's always gonna be something cute there's always going to be something on sale but if you don't look at it you don't think about it as much and if you don't think about it then you don't buy anything it is awesome so I again I highly recommend doing that it, I found it very, very helpful to not have it right in my inbox every single day I go to check my email. I would have to deliberately go to that separate folder. And like I said, a lot of times I didn't even open anything. I just deleted it just to clear out the folder. And it, it was immensely helpful. But again, if you're stronger than me, you could just unsubscribe. The other thing I did that I found really helpful that I would recommend to you guys is I started writing down a list of all the things that I thought about buying throughout this challenge and the idea was that at the end I would go back to the list kind of see do I still want these things and my thinking was that I probably wouldn't want the majority of the things on the list and it would help by delaying that purchase that I could have more time to think on it and as you can see I already started marking off some of the things that I know like I don't want anymore one thing I did actually end up buying and then a couple of the other things I still want them but I, I think I realized that I don't need to buy it right now in this moment like I can you know delay them or stagger them and, and add to the list and all that kind of thing so I do want to keep up with the list because I think it's helpful to delay that purchase and give a little bit of space and time to these decisions rather than just impulse spending and impulse buying it was definitely helpful for this challenge because I could look back and see one all of the things that like some of which I would have just bought without even thinking about it and those are definitely the things that I don't even want anymore which is so funny so it helped me save money there it also helped me take a look at all the things that I do still want so that I can you know budget for them and plan it out when I want to buy them and all that kind of stuff or if I give it more time maybe I won't buy want those things anymore and I'll have new things that I want to buy and I'll, you know who knows what'll happen but I think it was really helpful to just keep that list and then like I said delay that initial that like hit you know buy buy I think it's helpful to just give yourself time to really think about it versus just clicking in the moment and later on you're like I don't even want this that much. <laughs> so in a nutshell I would say accountability you know making sure you have a way to stay accountable for how you're spending your money or sticking to a no spend or low spend challenge. Intentionality being really clear about what you spend your money on and why you want to spend it. That's why I did this list it sort of gave me some time to think about what I'm spending and why I want to buy it and do I want to buy it now and all that kind of stuff and then also delaying that purchasing all of those are things that helped me stay strong throughout this month-long no spend challenge and I would highly recommend to anybody trying to do the same or in general just trying to reduce the amount of impulse buying that you're doing highly 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 recommend doing all of that thank you guys so much for watching this video and for watching throughout this no spend challenge series let me know what you think in the comments and let me know if you guys have ever done a no spend or low spend challenge and any tips or tricks that you learned along the way I'd love to hear them make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys in the next one bye Bye.